Hawaii, an island rich with culture and natural beauty. Our team of four travelers set out to explore and document this diverse landscape. From active volcanoes to waterfalls to black sand beaches, we'll show you some of the best things this tropical paradise has to offer. We'll even show you Mauna Loa's famous macadamia nut factory in action. So sit back and relax as we show you the wonders of Hawaii. Punalu Black Sand Beach is one of the most famous black sand beaches in Hawaii. Because of the constant volcanic activity, there are many different colors of sand. White, green, but mostly dark black. The beach is located on the southeastern coast of the Big Island. Never having been to a black sand beach before, it was an incredible sight. As we had hoped, there were several green sea turtles relaxing on the beach, and they didn't seem to mind having friendly humans approach to take their pictures, but not too close. Black sand beaches of the Big Island are very popular tourist attractions, but the day and time we visited, we were almost all alone, which added to the thrill.
After our stay, we visited the souvenir stand near the parking area and met a wonderful vendor who has lived there all her life and makes many of the souvenirs that she sells. Volcanoes National Park is located about 30 miles southwest of Hilo and was the most anticipated place on our journey. We started our visit at the Kilauea Visitor Center and looked at a large map of the park plan out our day. To see the park requires navigating the Crater Rim Drive, a 10.6 mile road that circles Kilauea Caldera. It was everything that we hoped it would be. In many ways, it reminded us of Yellowstone National Park because of the many steam vents that we came across. There are not many places on Earth where man can get a glimpse of what it must have been like when the Earth was first forming. This is the land that time forgot. Driving around this loop took us to the park's main attractions, the Kilauea Overlook, Jagger Museum, Halamaumau Crater, and the Thurston Lava Tube. Highlight was our return to the park after dark to see the lava glow light up the night sky. Being in Hawaii, we did not expect the very cold temperature that night and we were freezing, but it was worth it. Near downtown Hilo is one of the most beautiful waterfalls on the entire island. Rainbow Falls is nestled inside Wailuku River State Park, and it is a sight to behold. The water plunges 80 feet and is known for the rainbows that are formed in the surrounding mist. No trip to the Big Island would be complete without a visit to the famous Mauna Loa Macadamia Nut Factory. Hawaii is well known for their macadamia nuts, and we really looked forward to seeing how they were processed into the finished product we love to eat so much. 
The tour of the factory is self-guided around the outside of the upper deck of the building. We saw the nuts as they entered the factory, the shelling and roasting process, and finally, the packaging. At the end, we went to the visitor center for free samples. There, we saw dozens of macadamia nut flavors and products. We purchased a healthy supply of chocolate-covered and other exotic flavors before we departed. In essence, we went completely nuts for macadamia nuts. The most anticipated part of our entire visit to Hawaii was the helicopter ride we had pre-booked with Safari Helicopter Tours because we knew it would be our best chance to see volcanic activity and actual lava flow. We were not disappointed. The flight departed from Hilo with views of 13,000 foot Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea. directly to the most active volcanic areas. Most of what we saw was extremely remote and only accessible by air. Our captain was native born and told us about how life was on the island when he was a boy and also how much the landscape has changed since the largest eruptions have taken place during his lifetime. Entire neighborhoods and communities have been wiped off the face of the earth from the lava flows, and we tried to imagine what the places we saw used to look like when they were sprawling with houses. We had a great flight and highly recommend safari helicopters to all visitors to Hilo. Located on the northern Hamakua coast, the Waipio Valley was the boyhood home of King Kamehameha and is called the Valley of the Kings. It is one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. The valley is about one mile across and over five miles deep and surrounded by cliffs up to 2,000 feet high. We viewed the valley from the Waipio Valley Overlook at the end of the Hamakua Heritage Corridor Drive. Waipio Valley was once home to thousands of native Hawaiians, but now there are less than 100 residents living in the valley 
without any electricity. During our visit to the city of Kona, on the other side of the island from Hilo, we wanted to take the time to visit a world-class beach. We traveled down the volcanic western coastline of the Kohala coast and followed the signs to the beach. We were not disappointed with what we found, one of the finest beaches we have ever seen. Hapuna Beach is the largest of Hawaii Island's white sand beaches and has consistently been rated on numerous international top 10 lists. After our stay on the beach, we went to the snack bar near the parking lot and feasted on gourmet hamburgers and sandwiches. Every coffee lover has heard of Kona coffee, which is considered one of the greatest coffees in the world. We knew that it was a must to visit a Kona coffee plantation and see for ourselves how coffee goes from ground to mug. Pure Kona coffee is very rare and grown exclusively in North and South Kona. High elevation, constant cloud coverage, and rich volcanic landscape create the ideal environment for growing Kona coffee. We decided to visit Mountain Thunder Coffee Plantation, which is the largest organic coffee farm in the nation and has been featured on many TV shows. We got there at the end of the day and were essentially given a private tour by a very friendly coffee grower who explained the entire process from beginning to end and took us into the building where the beans were being roasted. At the end, we purchased some Kona coffee and enjoyed it during the rest of our stay. After our stay on the big island, our next destination was the beautiful island of Kauai. We chose the outrigger at Leinani as our accommodations because of the beach that it offered. The 
grounds of this resort feature tall coconut palms swaying over the quiet oceanfront setting on Kauai's eastern shore. Waimea Canyon is located on Kauai's west side and is known as the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. It is truly a geological wonder, breathtaking to see in every possible way. The canyon stretches for 14 miles and is one mile wide and more than 3,600 feet deep. The Waimea Canyon Lookout at the end of the drive is the highlight of this journey. There we saw gorgeous panoramic views of the buttes and deep gorges. There was also a native Kauaian in authentic dress who answered questions about the canyon and posed with visitors. Polyhale Beach State Park is famous, but extremely difficult to reach. It is at the end of a very long dirt road that is not being maintained. Only four-wheel drive vehicles, which we rented, can attempt this journey, and many times during the drive, we are crawling at two miles an hour. We question our sanity for even trying. But at the end of the drive, we were thrilled to see a totally desolate beach with a perfect view of the cliffs. We felt like we were on a deserted island with almost no sign of other human inhabitants. This was the most beautiful beach we had ever seen.
Kauai's south shore, we visited the spectacular Spouting Horn Blowhole, which is one of the most visited spots on Kauai. The ocean turf flows into a natural lava tube and releases a huge spout of water during large swells. Since most of the waterfalls and majestic beauty of Kauai can only be seen from the air, we decided to book the deluxe waterfall safari tour, our second ride with safari helicopters. When we arrived at the tour office, we were entertained by a pilot who gave us our safety briefing. He was not flying that day and did not normally give the safety briefing, but he was very funny and personable, and we enjoyed his company a great deal. He took us to the airport, where we experienced a 60-minute flight covering over 100 miles of amazing kawaii scenery, where scores of Hollywood directors have tried to capture its unmatched beauty on the silver screen. Pilot loved to laugh and tell jokes as he showed us the various locations made famous in the movies, such as Jurassic Park Falls. Quite possibly, this was the most memorable part of our adventure. Wailua Falls, which is located at the south end of the Wailua River, cascades into two streams and then drops about 200 feet. 
Like other spectacular spots on Kauai, it has been featured in many movies. Wailua Falls is most recognized in the opening credits of the long-running television show, Fantasy Island. Well, this is where our journey ends. Hawaii is a truly remarkable place with so much diversity and beauty. We hope everyone can visit the islands at some point in their life for an unforgettable experience. <laughs>